Hi, second graders. We are going to be reading the story, John Henry. And John Henry um, is the American tall tale that we've been talking about this week. Here's the cover. And we talked about this page on the inside that had the list of all of the characters. And then it also showed us that the setting was near the Allegheny Mountains in West Virginia in the 1870s. Now, as I read, I would like you to pause from time to time so that you can practice reading with expression too. You can echo what I've said. So pause and then use a voice that's quiet enough that you won't disturb anyone. But it, go ahead and pause from time to time so that you can practice reading with expression too. These are pages two and three. You'll see that the page is a little curled over, but I'm going to be reading and every once in a while, I will say the name of who's talking because that'll help us stay focused and make sure we don't lose our place. But otherwise you need to follow along. And for the most part, I'm not going to be reading narrator one, narrator two, Mama Henry, Papa Henry, because that's where you're following along. We wouldn't really say those words if we were doing a real reader's theater. So it does begin on page two here with narrator one. Listen also for ways that the truth or some things are being exaggerated in the story. Listen, do you hear that? It sounds like thunder, but it's really John Henry, the famous steel driving man. He's up there in the great railroad in the sky. He's laying down tracks just like he did when he was alive. The tale of John Henry began when he was born. Oh, what a beautiful baby boy. He sure is. But isn't he a bit large? I mean, he's bigger than a sheep, and he's just one day old. It's true, and look at his arms. They're as big as tree trunks. And look what's in his hand. A hammer. Narrator 1 on page 3. That's right. John Henry was born with a hammer in his hand, and that's not all. Excuse me, but if it isn't too much trouble, can I please have something to eat? He talked. The baby talked. Well, what can I get for you, John Henry? I'd like 150 flapjacks, three kettles of soup, and two pots of extra strong coffee, please. Now, pause me now so that you can practice if you haven't done so already. Find a section that you like to read and go ahead and read that part. Moving on. Narrator 2. Folks came from far and wide to see the big talking baby. John Henry, John Henry, the biggest baby in the land. John Henry, John Henry, born with a hammer in his hand. John Henry grew into a strapping young man. He was a big help around the house. John Henry would lift the house up so his mama could sweep under it. But soon he knew it was time to move on. John Henry speaks on page four at the bottom. I've got to be moving on. A man ain't nothing but a man, and I've got to make my way in the world. We'll miss you, son. Take care, John. John Henry, John Henry, he's all grown up to be a man. John Henry, John Henry, still with a hammer in his hand. John was now on his own to make his way in the world. Soon he met a man named Bill. Hey, aren't you John Henry? Why, yes, sir, that's me. I've heard about you. We need some good, strong men to help build the railroad through the mountains. Think you'd like to give it a try? Why, yes, sir, I was born with a hammer in my hand, and now I'm going to put it to good use. Pause me now and try reading some of those on your own. Narrator 2. John and Bill set out for the Allegheny Mountains. Men were building a railroad there. Who's this you got here, Bill? His name's John Henry. He's as strong as a hurricane wind. Think you can drive some steel into these railroad tracks? Well, sir, I'll give it my best try. John Henry lifted his mighty hammer in his hand. He banged that steel with as much power as a 200-year-old tree falling in the woods. Look at that. He's driving stakes faster than a runaway locomotive. The top of page 7, Jim is talking. 
He strikes that steel as fast and as fierce as hail on the rooftop. You're hired, John Henry. Thank you, sir. John worked all day and night. He laid more track and drove more steel than all the other workers combined. The railroad was coming along fine. Then a man from the government came by. What's a government man doing here in the middle of the mountains? What could he want? And what's that contraption he's driving? Mr. Samuels speaks. What can I do for you, sir? It's time we tried some new technology here. This is a steam drill. It can work faster than any man. What does he mean? He means we're going to lose our jobs, that's what. John Henry talks at the top of the next page. Pardon me, sir, but these men work hard every day. They put their hearts into their work. A machine doesn't have a heart. No machine can take the place of a human being. Mr. Smith answers him and says, This one can, and we're going to use it. I'll tell you what. I challenge your machine to a contest. If your machine can drive more steel than I can, then we'll walk away. But if I win, you and your machine go away, and these men keep their jobs. John Henry, that's impossible. Sir, a man's nothing but a man, and I've got to do what's right. Let him try. If anyone can do it, John Henry can. Young man, I'll take your challenge. I know my machine will beat you. Well, let's just see. John, are you sure? As sure as I can be, these men must have their jobs, and if I can help them, I will. Hooray for John Henry! Now all the townsfolk speak. John Henry, John Henry, he wants to do what's right. John Henry, John Henry, he'll try with all his might. All right, ready, set, go. Look, John Henry's in the lead. He's as fast as lightning. Wait a minute, he's falling behind. The steam drill is winning. I've got you beat, John Henry. Don't be so sure. Here I come. Look, John Henry's picking up speed. He's going faster and faster. He's going to win. John Henry's done it. Our jobs are saved. Not so fast. The contest is not over. Why not? We have to go through the mountain. Oh, no. John Henry speaks using a tired voice. It's okay, fellows. Hand me another hammer. I'm going in. The contest continued. John Henry versus the steam drill. Everyone ran to the other side of the mountain. Who would come out first? Finally, as the sun went down, everyone got the answer. Look, someone's breaking through the mountain. Is it John or the steam drill? I can't believe it. It's, it's John Henry. Smoke is coming from his hammers. Well, John, I didn't think it could be done, but you've won. You didn't give up. You've saved the men's jobs. Hooray for John Henry. But all that hard work was just too much for John Henry. John Henry's fallen down. John, are you all right? It's okay, boss. I've done my job. I'm, I'm ready to let go. John, don't go. But it was too late. All that hammering did John in. For miles around, folks came to say goodbye to a hero. John Henry, John Henry, he helped to build this great land. John Henry, John Henry died with a hammer in his hand. So when you hear that thundering sound in the sky, don't be afraid. It's just John Henry, hero of the railroad.